video game. I've been playing 2K since I was a kid, so now like getting my face scanned and not having to like, worry about making a player, actually being in the game, it's I can't even describe it. Like it doesn't feel real. Oh, the first thing I do when I when I turn on 2K23, I'm going to roster, yeah. I'm going to my player, I'm going to edit, and he will have 99 everything and every badge. You know, when you get into the NBA, you get an NBA logo above your player. So when you hop into the park now, you're going to be stuck. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And that's the player introductions completed. So in just a few moments, we'll be back and ready for action. Welcome everyone to 2K Sports presentation of the NBA this Saturday afternoon. Joined by Hall of Famer Grant Hill, NBA champion Steve Smith, and our reporter Allie LaForce. This is Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all yours. Hey Brian, Nikola Jokic said, quote, growing up in Serbia, I fell in love with basketball. Playing professionally at 16 years old, I developed fast. Now when other players pull me or grab my leg, I love it. That's how we played in Serbia. Not fighting, but just the passion. I don't want basketball to just be a job. I want to keep that passion. Brian? Great stuff, Allie. Thanks. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is looking. You look at the Pistons, and they're sitting with the fifth seed in the conference currently. Right now for Detroit, they have to be feeling very confident as the postseason gets closer. It's been a nice regular season for them. Maybe they haven't achieved every one of their goals, but they've come close. A look at the Pistons starting group. Aaron Gordon is out there with Jakob Pertl. Then there's Cunningham. Then it's R.J. Barrett. And for the Nuggets, they've got Nikola Jokic. Michael Porter out there with Jamal Murray. And it's Robinson in at the power forward position. All right, Grant, in the name of player development, if you've got a young team that's effectively out of the playoffs, do you scale back minutes for the veterans, even if they're playing well? I would think so. Obviously, if the playoffs aren't in the picture, it's giving that remaining part of the season a chance for you young players to learn what the NBA is all about. So giving them more chances to play, resting the veterans, might be the smart move. Outside Barrett. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. And here's Porter outside. Hurdle grabs a miss. Outside Barrett. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. And the ball is jump tied ball, up, ball. so we'll have a jump ball. You two players. So it's Denver now. Oh, it's stolen. This one for three. Good work defensively by Robinson. Denver's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Pass to Murray. No luck on that one. And Detroit will go the other way with it. Fresh off a win against the Warriors. And I'll tell you, that was not an easy environment to play in. It was a hostile crowd on the road, but it didn't bother them at all. What was beautiful, it was a tremendous game plan coming in. You saw the execution and you saw the results. He got in excellent position, then takes it right back up. Pass to Robinson, outside Murray. Knocks down the long J. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. For Detroit, they've gone two for five to start today's game. Here's Cunningham. Back to Barrett. There's the three. Gets it to go. That makes him two for three in this game. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Robinson. He had 10 points in the win against Phoenix. 
And it wasn't just the points. He brought hustle. He brought energy. And he brought it on the glass. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. Outside Barrett. And here in the first, about three minutes in. For three, Gordon. Rebound by the Nuggets. Their last game, a win against the Suns. Looking to carry it into this one. And think about this. That game was really a coin toss. They were fortunate to have survived and picked up the win. They were extremely lucky. I think they took their opponent for granted a little, and it nearly cost them. And there it is for him. I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Jokic, no good. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Got it. Keep pulling in. The Nuggets have gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Murray for three. He buries it from three. Murray's got six points. You have to watch Murray closely at the perimeter. He won't hesitate to flex his range. And as a leader, Murray is vocal. Talks to his teammates up and down the floor, and he pushes everyone, and they tend to follow. Now here's Pirtle. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Just three to shoot. Here's Cunningham. Jokic grabs the board. Denver has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Here's Robinson. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. He's got six. And Murray's vocal to the opposition as well. He's used to the trash talking. I mean, he loves to challenge people. I mean, does it cross the line at times? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Murray against Pirtle. Outside Murray. Pass to Jokic. He's now one for two with that bucket. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Here's Cunningham. Really played well against Golden State in his last game. And here's Pirtle. Here's Cunningham. And that one is hammered home! What vision from Perto getting the pass over to the wide open man. Down low. And the dunk by Jokic. One of the cases where height fails to tell you the whole story. The Pistons trailing. Outside Barrett. The three is up. The shot no good. Now Denver takes it the other way. Driving to the basket. Hurdle with some nice D. Unusual for him, just a lack of concentration. Fails to finish the play. Gordon down low. He's guarded by Porter. Gordon can't hit. The Nuggets have got 8 out of 12 shots to fall. And Jokic throws it down. Graceful alley-oop from Jokic. A big man who can really move. Detroit calls timeout. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there. The Pistons have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Here's McCollum. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. Then you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Here's Stanley. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. For three, George. Pirtle grabs a miss. Detroit has gone only one of four from three-point land. Inside. Perfect night so far. Two for two. Really nice work. Hurdle going to town on the weak defense down in the paint. Here's Shaman. 
Averaging around five points a game. Pass to Stanley. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Here's a Kiki. Over to the left wing. Six to shoot. Here's Jang. He picked up 15 in their last win against the Warriors in San Francisco. Pass to Shaman. And here's George. Here's Shaman. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Korkmaz. McCollum defends. Korkmaz, no good. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, but it's a fairly clean look. Almost have to take it. McCollum on the wing. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Warriors in San Francisco. Hurdle with the bucket. Love the razor sharp focus. Hurdle bouncing off contact and finishing well. Here's Korkmaz. George outside. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Shooting two. That one's off. Good on the second one. Detroit has gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Detroit calls timeout. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Michael Porter. And by looking at his true shooting percentage over the last five games, you can see how much he's paying attention to his shot selection. And it's showing. McCullum outside. Pass to Benson. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Denver in the lead. Up top, George. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Phoenix. Here's Korkmaz. Shot clock at five. Benson grabs a miss. And the Pistons shooting 53%, setting the tone right from the opening tip. Like you, B.A., this guy's got some style. Hey, man, you got to have a little swagger to pull off a slam like that. George outside. Pass to Thompson. George outside. Let's it go from deep. Drops in the three. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Here's Jang. McCullum with it. Takes the three. Sinks the tray. McCullum's got five points. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Korkmaz. Nine points in his last outing. Shot clock at six. Pass to Shaman. From deep three-point range. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation as the buzzer sounds.
Detroit has gone only two of six from the three-point line in this first quarter. Here's Jang. Pass to McCullum. Jang in the post. Six on the shot clock. Got a piece of it from the wing. And too long on the shot. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Here's Korkmaz. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Pass to George. And George with the jam. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. There's 21 seconds left in the first quarter. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Here's Jang. He's been an offensive weapon for them, scoring around 17 and a half points a game. From downtown, and the Pistons, another three. It's all tied in Denver. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And Nikola Jokic at times seems like an offense unto himself, but he credits his team. It's easy for me, actually. I mean, I have such a great teammate. I mean, it's easy, really easy for me to do whatever I do in the court. Grant, the pieces really do fit well around them. They really do, B.A. I mean, the Nuggets have shined when it comes to talent evaluation. As a star player, having those others to help you win is vital. And if you're just joining us, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. All right, guys, what do you think about the Nuggets here in this one? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. They've got Landry Shamit. Tristan Thompson is out there with Jamal Murray. And it's George in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Denver getting going in the second. We've seen Murray raise his game. Part of it is an increase in toughness, the ability to score when it's not simple. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Hey, Brian. Well, we know this about Jamal Murray. He is not shy of letting that thing go. He said, quote, anyone that knows me knows this. I'm going to take the last shot. I've always believed that, envisioned that, dreamed Jamal that, Murray. and practiced that. And I'm going to make it. Guys, there's no denying that confidence. Well, it serves him well, right, Allie? Thanks for that. So both teams making some changes here. Detroit has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Porter against Barrett. Up and over Porter. Barrett can't hit. Denver has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Pass to Murray. Guarded by Barrett. Outside for Porter. Clock at four. They get the rebound. And the basket by Jokic. Jokic has got eight points. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Cunningham. And that one falls. King His fifth Cunningham. basket in seven tries. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Pass to Robinson. Now Porter. 
over Barrett. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. And the Nuggets lead by two. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Cunningham. Pump loose. Now here's Robinson. Six points for him. Porter finds Murray. To the inside. Here's Robinson. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Outside Barrett. Here's a Kiki. He's been productive, averaging just over seven points a game. No good from outside. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. He hails from a small town in Serbia. Jokic played basketball, but also a number of other sports that he credits for his current skill set. Yeah, he says water polo helped with the one-hand passes, and volleyball helped with the tippets. And the harness racing, well, who knows? But he was obsessed with it. Pass to Cunningham. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Now here's Porter. It's rebounded by Barron. Here's Gordon. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. All right, Smitty, you won some titles at the international level. A world championship in 94, gold in 2000. So how do those compare to the ring you won with the Spurs? You know, B.A., they're totally different. Obviously, both of them are fantastic. But internationally, it's a little bit special because you're playing for your country and you have that USA across your jersey. First one falls for him. So he makes both from the line. The Nuggets have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Pass to Jokic. They kick it out to Murray. Offline with a three. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Here's Cunningham. He's guarded by Porter. And it's Cunningham missing. Denver's gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. To the middle. From 12 feet, chalk up two there. He's got five. That's just a solid execution to get a wide open look. The Pistons have gone 3 for 7 here in the second quarter. Oh, you have to love the spin move there. But he couldn't quite gather himself for the shot. Gordon against Murray. Clock at six. And there's the drive. Rebound Detroit. Their next game playing at home as the Pacers come to town. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Pass to Cunningham. Shot is up. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Robinson. Unable to get that one. And Detroit the other way now. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. That's his first foul. And the Nuggets making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. And the switch here also for Detroit. Pirtle's checked in. The Pistons trailing. Outside Barrett. Pass to Pirtle. To the paint. Here's Cunningham. 
puts it up from the high post. And it comes off the front of the rim. Fast break. Here come the Nuggets. Murray for three. Buries it from three. Murray's got five points now in the quarter. Adds to their lead. They've been able to rely on him all night. Outside Barry. Here he goes. Oh, Jokic with the block. Assertive defense from Jokic. Using all of his reach to get on top of the shot and deny it. And it's good for two. Jokic has got ten. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Detroit calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Stanley's checked in for the Nuggets. George comes in for Jamal Murray. Pass to Gordon. A shot to stop the run. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Shamit, he's checked in for the Nuggets. C.J. McCollum, he's checked in for the Pistons. Free throw good from Gordon. For Denver, they've gone 8 of 15 in the second. Pass to Korkmaz. From 12 feet, he can't get it to go. And Detroit will go the other way with it. McCullum outside. Here's Vincent. George with a steal. Here's Jokic, covered by Pirtle. All right, we look at our 2K leaderboard for assists. Numbers from the past month of play. Fourth, Nikola Jokic. His teammates trust that if they get open, he will find them. They're really in a groove right now. Free throw, no good. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. That one's no good. What you love about Jacoperto is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. George against Gordon. George, no good. And for the Pistons, they're shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got underway. And here's what the Detroit Pistons schedule looks like. On Tuesday, they head back home to host the Indiana Pacers. And then on Thursday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And for that game against San Antonio, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Korkmaz, no good. Decent look for mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. Aaron Gordon. Drops the first. Thompson, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Denver has gone five of 12 from three point range tonight. Thompson passes to George.
Let's the three fly. Nails it from beyond the arc. George has got nine. How can you leave this guy that wide open? Please. That's terrible. It's Chang. High post. Five points in the game. Can't cash it in from close range. Denver has gone two of five from deep here in the second. Back to Korkmaz. George drives in. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. Gotta love the shot blocking ability of Pirtle. Wonderful timing right there. Here's McCollum. That one off the back iron and out. Denver has gotten six of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. Thompson passes to George. Tipped away. Gordon with a steal. Pass to Jang. Thompson pulls it in. Thompson's got four rebounds now. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. George for three. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist of the night. And I love how they're working much harder on the glass this quarter and drumming up more second-chance opportunities. Now here's Gordon. He has six. Goes up on the wing. Offensive rebound. Hurdle. And there's two. Work on the glass. Paying off that time. Give him eight. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Here's George. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Stanley, that's good. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Now here's McCollum. Five points in the game. And the layup is good. McCollum. McCollum's got seven points. Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. Pass to Korkmaz. Up top, Thompson. Here's Stanley. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. And the Nuggets lead by 13. 29 seconds left in the second. Floats one. Here's Gordon. And they converted last on attempt number three. He came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. George outside. Four seconds left. And it's good on the layup. George has got 10 points in the quarter. And this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they have executed. And we finished off one half a play. The Nuggets on top. They lead by 13. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. The second quarter was where they really opened things up. They were by far the stronger team, both defensively and when they had the ball. Their 13-point halftime lead, no accident. Jack, let's get your take on Denver. They built this lead from the perimeter. We know they have shooters to do it. We know sometimes they play outside in. This is one of those games that's going on by the script. Impressive performance thus far. Over to Kenny. What do you think about Detroit? Right now, this game is being won and lost on the glass. When another team is out muscling you, sometimes you have to run more guys to the backboard. Quantity can match quality if you can also be aggressive going after the basket. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Just 
just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. The Pistons shooting around 44%. Not bad. And Detroit, let's look at who they've got. Aaron Gordon is out there with R.J. Barrett. Then there's Jakob Pertl. Then there's Cunningham. And out of bounds, the Nuggets will take it. That's what happens when nothing goes your way. You start to lose focus, and it makes matters worse. And how about the mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Denver's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Outside Murray. It's Robinson, high post. Outside Porter, down to five on the shot clock. Here's Murray. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And the Nuggets lead by 15. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. And Gordon with the basket on the assist by Cunningham. Gordon's got 10. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Jokic. Murray against Pirtle. Murray passes to Jokic. Pirtle grabs a miss. And here's Detroit. It's a 13-point game. It's Barrett on the wing. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Barrett. The Nuggets have gone just one of three in the second half. Pass to Robinson. Let's it go from 11. Kept alive. And a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. 14 points for him. Effort play, pursuing the basketball. Love how he puts in the work. And he drives in. And that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Now Murray. 11 points in the game. Outside Porter. Four on the clock. Here's Jokic. And there are the Nuggets with another bucket. Here's Cunningham. 14 points for him. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to Robinson. Over Gordon. Robinson can't hit. The Pistons shooting a solid 47% to the middle. Hurdle with the bucket. Hurdle's got 10 points. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. And here's Jokic outside. Okiki's checked in for Gordon. The Pistons have gone three of three in the second half. Pass to Okiki. Here's Cunningham. Up and in on the layup. Cunningham's got four points now in the quarter. And they're rolling. Four straight makes to start the second half. Murray with it. He's picked up by Pirtle. Back to Murray. Jokic with it. Puts up a three. The Nuggets with another miss. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. And that one's good. Cunningham. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Outside Murray. Pass to Porter. Rebounded by the Pistons. Outside Barrett. 
It's hauled in by Robinson. Robinson's got six rebounds in the game. Down low. And Jokic throws it down. Does it get any easier than this? Just give Jokic the ball, and he'll take care of the rest. Here's Cunningham. He's got 18. Great D that time from Jokic. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Here's Porter. And misses it off the right side of the rim. The Pistons have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Barrett into the lane. And the bucket is good. Barrett's got seven points. Impressive. Their ball movement has been excellent tonight. Inside. It's stolen by Pirtle. And the Pistons pushing it up now. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. And the Nuggets making a change here. Thompson's checked in, and a switch here also for Detroit. Favors checked in for Pirtle. Denver's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Pass to Porter from the arc. Hits the trifecta. Porter's got his second bucket of the night. Defensive mix up there. He's the last guy you want to leave open. Throws it up high. They're playing Derek great Davis. team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Right wing. Murray passes to Thompson. And it's Murray finishing it off. Oh, explosive move. Sometimes Murray doesn't get enough credit for his athleticism. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, Brian. Historically, a few franchises have gobbled up most of the NBA championships. A significant number of teams have never won a title, though. However, we're in an interesting time. A lot of those franchises are looking for their first title. They're among the top teams now. And guys, they're hoping to get on the board. Oh, yes. Very interesting, Allie. Thanks for that. On the wing, Thompson. Six to shoot. Murray against Barrett. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got four this quarter. Skilled finish by Murray. He can score inside and outside, really anywhere on the court. Pass to Cunningham. Yeah, that one's good. Cunningham. Cunningham's got 20. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Outside Murray. Count that bucket. Murray's got 17. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. The Pistons have gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. And stolen by Murray. Pass to Porter. From down in the low post, it goes. Porter's got his third basket on the night right there. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Nuggets. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Another thing they've been able to do since the very beginning of this game is score points off turnovers, and lots of them. And the Pistons call time here. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double, whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. Back to Jang. Six on the shot clock. George defending. Ooh, Thompson with the block. Great timing by Tristan Thompson on that block. That's his forte. The Pistons making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. Denver has gone just one of three from deep since the break. Thompson outside. And 
And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Aggressive defense. Too aggressive. Thompson. Thompson goes up strong and draws the foul. good on that one one thing about Thompson he's made improvements to his body and his game each and every year and he sinks the second the Pistons have gone 8 of 13 in the second half Gordon outside. To the wing on the left. Jang. And again, the Pistons missing. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. But his rhythm has been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. He didn't what have his feet planted. Side out. Pass to McCollum. Five on the clock. Here's Jang. Oh, they need this! The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Here's Korkmaz. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Again, it's good on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by 21. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Up top, Gordon. It's good. Aaron Gordon's got four points now in the quarter. In the NBA, you just can't let guys get to the rim. Pass to Cork Moss. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First one falls. Nikola Jokic is checked in for the Nuggets. And a switch here also for Detroit. Pirtle's checked in. And he makes both free throws. We've got 108 left in the third quarter of the game. Gordon outside. McCullum on the wing. And he's going for the oop here. And Gordon with the big finish. <laughs> and how sweet was that play? Pinpoint pass. Set up the alley-oop flush. Pass to Jokic. Now George. Launches a three. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. Here's Korkmaz. 
Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Shot clock at six. Oh, and the dunk by George! He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Pass to Jang. Hurdle with the ball, covered by Jokic. Hurdle in the post, working on Jokic. Ooh, he's been flawless tonight. Now he's six for six. And he's doing all he can for his team. Just perfect shooting thus far. Now, it's time his teammates, they really have to step up. Now here's Jokic. Over Pirtle. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Denver, out in front by 19 going into the break. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Furkan Korkmaz. He's out there with Nikola Jokic. And it's Porter in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Denver. 4-3. Jang pulls it in. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Back to Pirtle. And the dunk by Pirtle. It doesn't take much for Pirtle to throw it down. At seven feet tall, all he has to do is be near the hoop. To the inside. Korkmaz, good. Korkmaz has got his first points of the night. That's how you set the table, and everybody gets to eat. Pass to Chang. 11 feet out. And that one's long. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. With a step back. And he hits the jump shot. And the Nuggets lead by 21. Oh, very clever how he creates space against the bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. Now here's Pirtle to the wing, right side. McCollum finds Pirtle, fires the three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Korkmaz has got four rebounds now to the middle. And they double up Jokic. Here's Porter. No good. Off the front rim. The Pistons have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Nikola Jokic. And Pirtle using his frame well, drawing the defense into him on his shot. Well, there's talk now of how tight officials call the game, Smitty. You think the league would benefit from allowing play to be Take more physical? B.A., well, I don't think people want physical play to dictate the game, but I would like for, you know, the defense to be able to at least use an arm bar. Maybe not hand check like we did back in the day, but an arm bar just to be able to have the game kind of even out for the defensive players. Second free throw is good. For Denver, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Porter. Rebounded by the Pistons. Pirtle's got eight rebounds in the game. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Knocked loose. And stolen by Jokic. McCullum against Murray. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Here's George. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. 
Porter's got his fourth assist with that last one. And the Pistons shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. Defended by Murray. Jang. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. He goes to the bounce pass there. Nice rhythm at the end of the play. Murray passes to Porter. Now Jokic. Puts it up from 12. Pass to Murray. Just five to shoot. Up and over McCollum. Here's Robinson. Misses from short range. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Good work defensively by Robinson. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. And there's the contact on the dunk attempt. He gets the whistle. He doesn't get the bucket, so two shots coming up. Hailing from Jamal Canada, Murray. Jamal Murray is the latest star to emerge from the North. Joining country mates like SGA, R.J. Barrett, Brandon Clark, really impressive. Free throw drops from Murray. Well, Grant, it seems like more and more game time is spent with officials huddled around a monitor. You think instant replay has been a positive thing for the league? Well, for the most part, I think it has been a positive thing. I enjoy it. I think it brings a level of transparency, and also it's important to get the call right. But at times, it does disrupt the flow of a game, and players can't be consumed about winning every call all the time. And the NBA and its players taking an active role socially. Grant, talk about what you're seeing now and how it registers with you. Well, you know, it's exciting, it's inspiring, it's patriotic. It's what America is, being able to exercise your voice and helping to form a more perfect union. So that's what it's all about, and I'm excited for the league and its players, and it's inspiring, like I said. Now here's Porter. Pass to Robinson. Here's the three. That shot missing. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. What? Yeah, they need to string together Zion. some shots to have any kind of chance. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Detroit with the ball. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Pass to Barrett. Well, your seven seconds or less sons really paved the way for the pace and space style that we've seen throughout the league today, Greg. You know, B.A. really did. But, you know, it's interesting. I think there were those back then that thought it was kind of gimmicky. <laughs> but, boy, has it changed. And I, I feel like we could have had more success if we had just gone all in on that approach. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Barrett. And he can't hit the second. Denver has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. George's shot is off. For Detroit, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Back to Pirtle. George over to help. Here's Cunningham. Four on the clock. And stolen by Jokic. Pass to Porter. And here's Jokic. Defended by Gordon. There's Jokic on the assist by Porter. Porter's got his fifth assist in this one. Just powerful move in there by Jokic, using his frame to just bust through the contact and get his shot. Now here's Barrett. 
And he gets it to go. Timeout, timeout. Denver calls timeout. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and of little use to your team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive in today's game. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Pass to Robinson. Over Gordon. Robinson can't hit. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And he converts the layup. Pirtle's got five points in the quarter. Got to be on the lookout for Pirtle crashing the glass, using his body to wreck the defense on the boards. Pass to Jokic. That's tipped. It's stolen by Pirtle. Let's a floater go. That shot, no good. Good D by Murray. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Order the pass to Jokic. Murray with it. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Pass to Pirtle. Now Barrett. George defending. Here's Cunningham. And he gets that one. Cunningham's got 10 points in just the second half. Doing what he can to help shrink the deficit. But it has to be a team effort. Now Jokic. Ooh, poked away. Over Pirtle. Jokic, no good. For Detroit, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Here's Barrett. Porter pulls it in. Porter's got rebound number seven tonight. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Now here's George. Oh, he's looking good tonight. He's drilled 9 of 15 so far. And Detroit is shooting just 38% here in the fourth. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Oh, George with a steal. Pass to Robinson. Yes, and it's George picking up the assist. Got it in deep, and that's how you do it. The Pistons shooting a solid 47%. And here's Gordon. Here's Cunningham. Good on the bucket. Cunningham's got 24. The name of the game isn't scoring, it's scoring efficiency. Pass to Jokic. And he's going for the lob! And it's Murray finishing it off. We've seen this before from Murray. And in big games, too, a dynamic score. Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Now here's Murray. George finds Porter. Here's Murray. Five to shoot. And it's Murray finishing it off. When in doubt, run the defender off the screen. And you know, with a result like that, we'll see them run it again. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Detroit calls timeout. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. All right, we present our New Balance player of the game, Nikola Jokic. Defensively, they were not prepared for his inside game. They were not able to deny him the ball, and once he got it, he was so quick and able to get to work. Just a masterful performance in the paint tonight. It's evident that this crowd loves him. 
And with the way he's playing, it's easy to see why. He's really delivered for them time and time again. Oh, got that one up quick. Murray's got 25 points. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. Here's Cunningham over Jokic. Detroit, no good that time either. And here's Denver. They're on a 10-2 run here. Boy, we've seen a lot of effective signature moves, including yours, the Smitty. Is there a signature move that sticks out to you in today's NBA? You know, B.A., it is. Uh, it's the logo three. So many guys like Dame Lillard, Steph Curry, Trey Young, shooting it from close to half court. That's my signature move that sticks out to me in today's game. So both teams changing it up here. Shooting two. And that one misses. So we can't get either to fall. And here's Denver. A big stretch here going. Ten to two. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Nuggets. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And give them credit for what will be their 38th win of the year. And I'm sure they're happy to get even for what happened the last time these teams met. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Nikola Jokic. What was impressive to me, it felt like he made an impact in so many areas. Some of the effort won't show up in the stat sheet, but I noticed it. And he knocks down the first one. With efforts to grow the game in Europe and Asia and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA, Grant, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. Now here's Jones. Launches it. They grab their own miss. <laughs> and B.A., he takes his rebounding so seriously. This dude is such a grinder. His teammates appreciate the effort. Just goes all out on the glass. You know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. And Metu pulls it down. Detroit with the ball. Inside. Oh, Lennox with some nice D. And here's Denver. They're on a 12-4 run. Pass to Toscano. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Olenek with the ball. He's against Hollis Jefferson. Here's Vincent. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Nicola, congratulations on the win. What does a win like this say about your team? I mean, we are looking for each other. We are finding it. It's uh... When we start playing like we're supposed to play, we are really good. So hopefully we're going to continue to play like this. Thanks, Nicola. Back to you guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, 
This is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.